What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be answering a huge question I get in the comments all the time is um, where do I get my patches from? Patches for hats, patches for shirts. Uh, I don't do embroidery yet. I don't have an embroidery machine so I still use like the hat press or the regular heat presses. So I get the uh, patches with the adhesives on the back and I don't have to answer everybody's question. I don't have a direct place that I get patches from. I get it from depending on what I want and depending the price, depending on what the people want or what I want. There's no set place that I go to. So um, there's numerous places you get patches from, as from Amazon to Etsy, to even the transfer sellers, Ninja Transfers. Um, you could even get from uh, like Flash Custom. I know they were doing the DTF, the embroidery look uh, patches. Uh, transfer Express has them. There's tons and tons of places you can get patches from. You can get your own custom patches, anything you want. Uh, you could also, like I said, you could use DTF. You could use regular DTF. I've done that on hats before. I have one up here um, that I did. DTF, and then there was a couple other ones I did. But um, there's, this is one of the biggest questions I get all the time is where do you get your patches from? So like, this one was a while back. I had got a bunch of these where they're just embroidered. These, I believe they came from a place in uh, China, I believe. I don't know the actual name at this point. This was going back, you're talking two, three years ago. But it, all it is, it's an embroidery patch. I sent my logo, you know, did everything in Adobe Illustrator, gave them my logo. They put the adhesive on the back for you. Then I picked uh, the background they wanted, like the, the white outline is the background that I picked. You could pick black, things like that. Um, that's another one. These leather patches. Um, these I got, I believe, from Amazon. And I did these on the Yupon uh, snapbacks where I didn't actually, I did it with vinyl. Uh, I believe I have a video on that where I did the vinyl and I pressed the vinyl and the patch on the hat all at the same time. I know people have trouble. I have a generic heat press. Uh, the generic hat press, it's more like the Viva or um, whatever that name brand is. Hat press. This one didn't come with a name on it. Everybody's always asking me what the name is. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a name on it. Didn't come with a name in the past. I bought it years ago. I use that hat press and a lot of people struggle with it. I haven't had any issues with it. So maybe it could be it's, you know, generic. The elements could be different on different ones that people buy. But I personally, I usually I'll cover it up with a, like a t-shirt or something when I'm pressing to make sure that I'm not getting any scorch marks or anything like that. And like I said, these patches, they've been on here forever. I have no problems with them. And the vinyl, I cut the vinyl on the Cricut and I put it onto the patch and he pressed it on with the hat he pressed. Um, some other ones, if I just try them out, you can get them from Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, things like that. I tend to not really go with these patches, but some of them, if I find one that I like, I'll stick it on. But I realized with someone, they got this, um, this border around it. They don't put the adhesive on that. So it's still stuck to the hat and everything, but the, the border doesn't have an adhesive, just the actual flag part does. But that's if you want to just try patches, um, uh, like all these, the Yupon hats, I get them off of Jiffy shirts. There's other places I get them from. There's other uh, places I get the bull cats, the wholesale. But if you're starting off doing hats or starting off t-shirts, anything, go to Jiffy shirts. You don't got to have a license. You don't got to have anything like that. They give you good deals on there. And like I said in past videos, Jiffy Shirts is only about an hour or two for me. So sometimes it's better for me to order from them because it's literally, it's, you know, it's here the next day. Um, then I also got these. These I believe I got from somebody on Etsy. Took a while, but I wanted the Velcro, the Velcro backing. And this was because to put it on these, uh, these bags, these backpacks how you could stick the flags on them, whatever. And that was so, this was, I made the design up in Adobe Illustrator, sent it off to the person in, at Etsy. They gave you the option for the Velcro back. Obviously I'm not gonna be using this half, but I needed just the Velcro to go on to the, the book bags. 
And that's what I'm saying. There's tons of different places that you can get patches from. It's more or less it's what I did in the beginning was just did my research. And like this one, I only needed like a minimum of so many of these. So it was for me, it was smarter for me to go through Etsy because there was people on there that had low minimums. You know, there's some places where you order from the bigger companies where their minimums are a lot higher than just going through um, homemade, you know, people who sell them. So I hope that helps anybody out there where I get my patches. You can get patches anywhere. You can get patches on Timu. You can get, um, you know, the fake leather patches and everything like that. You get that Timu, Amazon. You can get real leather from, you know, all these places. Um, so there's not one place I actually just get my patches from. It just depends on what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm not doing embroidery. A lot of this stuff is for personal use. It's for my, you know, personal business hats, things that I'm gonna wear or give away. So um, I just kind of have that, I, you know, the hat press to do hats to mess around. I don't really, I sell more t-shirts and hoodies and things like that than hats. If I have friends or something, you know, that'll, you know, ask for hats or whatever, I'll do hats up. But for the most part, I don't really offer too many hats now. I'd rather get an embroidery machine before I do that. So right now it's just basically personal use, close customers, things like that. So I hope that helps anybody with the questions on where do I get my patches from. Um, if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to keep coming out with some more of this t-shirt content and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.